Are you ready to learn the art of woodworking? Let's go over and join Mick. Hi everybody and I'm so glad you're joining me on this first episode of the Woodworkers Ultimate Guide. Now in this guide we're going to take a look at everything as we go through this 20 part series. So let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name's Mick. I've been a woodworker for over 40 years. My father, Lionel, was a woodworker before me. He had a woodworking business when I left school in 1984, and I went straight into the woodworking business. Uh, over the years, I've sort of built experience and knowledge up all about materials and woodworking. I've built a business from a garden shed right up to this lovely industrial unit in Chesterfield in Derbyshire. Now, I want to share my knowledge with you lot over social media and YouTube, that's why I've done this series, The Woodworker's Ultimate Guide. The first very important thing to say is think about safety. Always be careful. Woodworking can be a very dangerous hobby. Um, so you need to do things like wearing eye protection, ear defenders if you're working in a really loud environment, uh, some sort of dust control. That especially goes for when you're working with things like MDF which can be really nasty if you breathe it in. And it'd be well worth, as soon as you can, investing in some sort of dust extraction system. Another great thing about woodwork is it's good for your head. It will help you with your mental health and it will just relieve stress. It'll just give you so much reward when you finally finish a project. Now, as we go through this series, which is a, say, as is a 20 part series, as we go through, please feel free to message me post comments asking me about things and advice and I'll do my best to answer your questions for you. And please let me know if you've made a project and you're enjoying the series, then please do send me photos of your projects and we'll share them on the uh, series. Now we're going to go through everything from making basic projects to making big stuff like this behind me. So I'm hoping that at the end of the 20 part series you're going to be a lot more confident and a lot more skilled and enjoying woodwork a lot more. The best way to start buying materials and tools and things like that is to start with a basic project. First, make something like a small box or a knickknack, a coat hanger, something like that. Just buy the tools you need to make that item. Don't go out buy a toolbox and fill it with a load of tools because you probably won't even use half of them. The basic tools I would buy to start would be things like hammers, saws, cramps and things like that. You're going to want some sort of power tools as well, maybe a screwdriver and a drill. Remember, you can always start with cheap branded tools and work your way up to a quality branded name. Don't overstretch yourself because then you're going to get so stressed and you're going to give up. Sometimes it's better to look on marketplaces and uh, auction sites where you can buy good quality secondhand tools. But be careful. There is a lot of tool theft going on at the moment. So just be careful who you're buying from. Take a look at the reviews and things like that and make sure they're a reputable seller. It's better to buy a secondhand quality tool than it is to buy a new, horrible, cheap and nasty tool. As well as your tools, you're gonna to need a few fixings and things, things like screws, nails, glues, adhesives, things like that. So just get a small bottle of adhesives. Don't go out and buy a massive bottle because if you don't use it fast enough, it has got a shelf life. Screw wise, just get a small amount of each size. Don't go out and buy a massive box of one size. You can actually buy uh, screw boxes with screw assortments in of the most popular sizes. They're a really good thing to get started and you could probably get one less than £20. Don't think you've got to buy full sheets of sheet materials and full lengths of timber. You can get timber cut to size at certain places. So it's well worth having a look. If you don't need a full length of timber, then shop about and you should be able to find somebody who will cut it to length for you. But be careful because sometimes having timber cut to size can be a lot more expensive than just buying a full length. So it's always good 
to calculate prices and compare prices whether you buy the full length and keep the offcut or whether you have the timber cut to size because then you've always got the offcut for your next project and never throw your offcuts away make yourself a little rack and store them in your weight shop because it's amazing how many times you can go to the offcut bin and find a piece of wood which is ideal instead of having to go out and buy a new piece the worst thing you can do with woodworking is go out and buy a load of tools really expensive tools buy a load of materials and just think oh my god this is so expensive you don't need to spend a lot of money start basic and build your way up don't go out and buy polishers or finishers until you've got a need for that finish on one of your projects polishers and adhesives and sealants all have shelf lives so don't buy them until you need them later on in the series we will be making a couple of projects and i will be showing you how to do that but just to get started get yourself a couple of bits of timber just practice screwing them sawing them cutting them and you'll just become more and more confident i think that's enough from me for episode one next friday is when we really get started in the weight shop. We're gonna look at basic tools you're gonna to need to chuck in that tool bag to get started. And remember, stay safe. And I'll see you a lot next Friday.